Greetings, Zombie Slayer, Slippy Jim here with another Buildables Guide for the new Black Ops 2 Zombies map, Origins. This is an elemental staff guide, how to build the wind staff. Now, all the staffs that we build in Black Ops 2 Origins, you need to find the same uh, components. Three parts for the staff, as well as a crystal that corresponds with the element, and a record that corresponds with the element as well, in order to build these. And basically, for the wind staff, you have to do something pretty crazy, which involves the three giant thousand foot robots that march across the map here in Origins. So here's what not to do, guys. Do not try and shoot out the sole of, <laughs> of the foot that does not have the glowing lights, because you will get crushed to your death, uh, unless you have Quick Revive, which I really do recommend for this uh, particular uh, staff build just in case something goes wrong when you put yourself in harm's way But this is one of the correct locations here You can see the glowing foot there You want to shoot that out and if you do it correctly You will get sucked up through the robot into the robot's head and there you will find one of the parts for the elemental staff Then you want to teleport out of there over here you can teleport back down to the ground Each of these robots has a name of a Norse god that particular one was Odin I have no idea why Okay, I'm going to show you where to get uh, the record that you need for the wind staff. This is one of the locations. It can spawn in a couple of different locations, though. This one is up near the stamina uh, machine area at uh, generator number 5. But you can also get it in another couple of locations. Look around the map. It's not too hard to find. And uh, basically, then what you want to do is make sure you have the black record, which is often located here. Or, as well, it can be up in the excavation site. And you'll need the gramophone as well, which is down here. Pretty much all the time down here at the bottom of the stairs in the excavation site. When you've got the black record and the gramophone, place those on the bench here. And that will open up the area down below the excavation site that is required in order to build these. Which you'll see a little bit later. So this is one of the other locations here where we're going to shoot the leg of the robot and get sucked up through. That is on top of the tank. Uh, the tank, uh, what's it called, the tank room, tank station, something like that. But there you go, we get another part for the elemental stuff, and we are in Thor this time. So we're going to get teleported back down to the surface, and we'll just have the one final part that we need. But before we do that, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go and we're going to get the crystal. So in order to do this, once you have located the uh, wind staff record, you want to take the gramophone with you down, place it on the bench in the wind staff tunnel. Now when that uh, is done, what will happen is you will get this uh, crazy portal style uh, teleport teleporter that will build itself magically out of stones down the bottom of the tunnel there. And this tunnel is located, by the way, uh, not too far from Jug uh, in that location. So once you get the uh, yellow portal, you want to go through that and straight ahead you will find uh, kind of like a booth where you will get a crystal coming up for the wind staff. Then uh, you can teleport out of there. Once again, the uh, portal has to build itself. There's a little bit of a delay and you're probably going to get some of these uh, Templar ghosts or whatever the hell they are charging at you as well. Not too much of a problem though. Particularly have a uh, decent gun. Okay, so head back through the portal. Now we only need one more part. And yes, you guessed it. We got to get it from another of the thousand foot robots. This is the final one here. This is the correct location right here just outside the church. Shooting out the sole of the foot. Once again, we go through the robot up to the head. And we get the last part that we need for the stuff. And this robot's name is Freya. Another of the Norse gods. Okay, we're just about ready to build this thing. And to uh, try it out, so we'll head back down to the surface again via the teleporters. Get a lot of air time in this one. And uh, basically then what you want to do is head uh, down to the bottom of the excavation area. Place it in the wind staff uh, booth. And then we're going to swap out, swap it out here in a second. I've got the fire staff right now. I'm going to grab the wind staff. And there we go. We have the wind staff ready to go. It starts off with 43 uh, charges, or whatever you want to call them, and uh, I was kind of hoping that this would be sort of like the Thunder Gun in power. It's not quite as powerful as the Thunder Gun, but it is a very similar effect, and uh, you can obviously uh, upgrade these to the ultimate stuff, so I'll show you guys a guide on that a little bit later, but this is the kind of effect you get. So you can see it's not nearly as powerful as the Thunder Gun, but it is a very similar effect in that it kind of blows away the zombies. 
with the uh, burst of wind. So that is the wind staff. Guys, tell me, which of the elemental staffs is your favorite so far? I'm probably leaning myself towards the fire staff because it's pretty cool. But uh, most of them are pretty good, actually. It's uh, kind of cool that Treyarch have given us a bunch of different one of weapons this time instead of just the one in this map. So anyway, guys, that is it for me. Please remember to rate and comment. Come subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you want to see a bunch of Zombies com content. But thanks for watching, and for now, it is Super Jim out.